Human rights activists in the Persian Gulf country of Bahrain say the crackdown on the freedom of expression there is escalating very fast and is broadening in scope. Now they say more websites are blocked and an increasing number of publications are banned on almost a daily basis. Even citizenships are being revoked because of expressing anti-government opinions. Let's cross over to Manama, the capital city of Bahrain, and talk to the president of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, Mr. Nabil Rajab, for an update on the status. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Rajab. Now, it seems that the situation is going from bad to worse as the Elections Day approaches. This, as the mainstream media is silent over the developments in Bahrain. What can you tell us about the latest crackdown on the freedom of expression in Bahrain? Well, uh, uh I mean, every witness to the situation sees that there is a clear war on Shias uh, in Bahrain since uh, five weeks now. And the withdrawal of one uh, Ayatollah, a Shia, well-respected Ayatollah, Najati uh, citizenship, this comes uh, online with this uh, battle uh, that uh, King had launched uh, five weeks ago. Besides that, of course, uh, which we see as a great uh, violation for the freedom of expression. Another uh, cleric also were asked to stop praying on you know, Friday prayer. Uh, as you know, the king and his son and his uncle decided that no independent uh, cleric speech in the Friday prayer or uh, in Muharram anymore, and that has to be made or appointed by government. And we think that is a clear violation. There is a continuous war. Against, uh, against all uh, Shias who are critic uh, to government politics. We have hundreds of them today are inside the jail. Many of them were tortured and sexually assaulted, including religious uh, figures. There is a real uh, war of humiliation in the media in Bahrain against the Shia, against their, uh, against their beliefs, against their uh, religious figures, uh, and it is continuously and headed and led by maybe the closest newspaper to the ruling uh, or to the royal court, which is the Watan newspaper. And there is a frightening campaign for every uh, people criticizing government that uh, this government is not going to be any more tolerant with anybody and uh, criticizing the government. And the closing of, uh, I would say, thousands of websites, uh, hundreds of them last few weeks, there is only website today exists which criticize Shias, which criticize Shias belief, but anything to do with villages of Bahraini villages, Bahraini cities, which is almost all Shias, are all banned website. Political societies and newspaper and website, liberals and leftist uh, newspaper, which is mixed of Shias and Sunni, are targeted today also because they are part of the opposition, are Shia. There is a full-scale war and freedom of expression, especially targeting Shias in Bahrain. Yeah. Now, Mr. Rajab, do you see this increasing as the election nears? Is it getting worse? And also, I want to go back. You, you alluded to the, uh, the citizenship of Ayatollah Najati and his family. Uh, I want you to touch on that a little bit more. On what basis uh, were they stripped of their Bahraini citizenship? Well, we don't see anything on that other than trying to humiliate uh, Shia figures and uh, Shia people in Bahrain. At the time where the ruling uh, elite, ruling uh, establishment, bringing tens of thousands of people from other countries and granting them citizenship on a daily basis, and they are withdrawing uh, citizenship from somebody respected in Bahrain, who born in Bahrain, He's almost over 50 years, if I'm not mistaken, and born here and withdrawing his citizenship under funny reasons. Uh, this is, uh, comes uh, as a part of a continuous humiliation to the Shias and their beliefs and their uh, political figures. I Mr. Rajab, let, let me ask you real quick. Mr. Rajab, you yeah. said it's a continuous humiliation. Is it simply a matter of uh, trying to humiliate the Shia, or is it, uh, does it have anything to do with demographic change? Because you just talked about that there are some people well, that they're well, bringing in well, uh, well, and becoming a, it citizens. Full, uh, it's a full thing, all it comes together. Demographic change, Bahrain is uh, on a, in, in a process on doing that. And they are in, almost in the end of the whole plan. They have brought tens of thousands of people from other countries. At the same time, they're squeezing and impressing people 
uh, socially, economically, educationally, CIP, so they flow out of the country. And we have thousands of people going out of the country, especially in the past few weeks, seeking refuge in different European or countries. At the same time, Bahrain government exchanging them with the new citizens and bringing them. Yes, there is a demographic change. Yes, Bahrain government, unfortunately, they are succeeding, especially with the silence of the civilized world. And this is a crime against the humanity committed by Bahrain government. Yes, they are succeeding in changing the demography of this country. Okay, that is the president of Bahrain Center for Human Rights, Mr. Nabil Rajab. Thanks so much for being with us.